All right, welcome to this week's 90 and 90 alongside Kobe Jones, Joe Tatino. Happy birthday, America. But before we start there, Kobe, real quick, 3-1 loss at San Jose. I thought it was tired legs in the second half. Yeah, it seemed to be tired legs for the LA Galaxy. I mean, they actually played the game on Wednesday. San Jose didn't. Um, but in the end, it's not really an excuse. you got to find a way to win, especially during rivalry week. That's a huge match. All right, Galaxy, Toronto, Saturday night. Let's start the clock right there. Toronto comes in third place in the Eastern Conference. They had a slow start, but they look like they figured it out. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Toronto's finally moving up the charts. Um, Greg Vanny and Robin Frazier, they're doing an excellent job. Former Galaxy. Yeah, Jordan, welcome back, I might, guys. I might add. Uh, I think offensively they're starting to click, and, you know, we're, we're seeing that combination of the threesome up top. You know, when you have Altador and you have the Atomic Ant, you know, mm -hmm. and, and Bradley working well together. The issue is obviously there's going to be national team call-ups, and still I think their defense is a little bit suspect. The Atomic Ant, Jovinko, how do you deal with him? It's difficult. He's going to get his opportunities. He's almost like a Robbie King where he's going to find ways. It's just when he does, can you sort that out? Can you get not only one player defensively to step up early, but that second player to step in to see if he beats the first one that he can step in for the tackle early on? Galaxy without Pinedo, without Omar Gonzalez, without Jossi Zardes, how do you replace those three? You, you can't replace those three, but the one thing that Bruce Arena has done well is get depth in his roster. So you're going to have to plug players into those positions, not worry so much about the individuals, but the way the Galaxy want to play. And can we welcome the Galaxy's newest player on this 4th of July? Who's that? Steven Gerrard. Welcome <laughs> to the Galaxy, Steven. Welcome, Steven Gerrard, and welcome to, you know, your first 4th of July in the U.S. of A. And that is this week's 90 and 90. <laughs>